Hey, this is Professor Homa. I just wanted to show one more thing with the tip calculator exercise, and that's working with the console. I showed you a couple things where you can type into the console and get some results, but I also wanted to show you how you could do a console log method to get some results back that may be a little more helpful than what we were seeing in the exercise when we were just typing things in. And just to show you how to um, get feedback from the console, I'm going to put right in this tip calc function, I'm also going to put a method in here called console log and I'll type it in here and it's just console.log and then in parentheses you can see it's asking for string text and I'm just gonna type in in a string with quotes I'm just gonna put in hello right now and I'll put a semicolon after this statement and I'll just save it and I'll go back to Chrome and I'll refresh it and I'll still put in my number here I'll just put in you know 40 and put in my 25 percent tip in here and I'll calculate tip and I'll also go to view developer and I'll go to developer tools and there it is and there you can see the hello showing up in there and it's showing up in black and I want you to be aware of that so I'm gonna leave that in here I'm gonna go back to my JavaScript now and I'm gonna copy this and I'll paste it and this time instead of using a string I'm gonna put in our variables that we have in there I'm gonna put in meal and notice they don't have quotes because they're the variable and then I'm gonna paste our other ones the your tip the tip and the total okay now I put all my variables in there and I'm just gonna run it one more time I'll save it and I'll go back to Chrome and I'll refresh it and I'll put in the same number and I'll leave my developer tools open and I'll put in 25 percent in here and I'll calculate the tip and I'm not worried about the tip, but here I just want you to see what's showing up in the console. Hello showing up as a string, 40 is the meal, and that's showing up as a number in blue because we did put that parse float to convert it to a number from a string. Um, the, the last two, 10, which is actually the tip amount, comes out as a number, and the, and the total is a number, which is good. The 25 that we put in here actually comes out as a string. Now even though that goes in as a string, it gets converted to a number because when we do this math here, even though this is just this line here is going to be coming through as a string, this line here is converting it back to a number because we have multiplication happening. We mentioned that when you use plus, it doesn't have the tendency to do any coercion, but when you use multiplication, because we have a number here and meals a number, and then because 25 your tip, whatever or whatever number we put in there is is a number, even though it's reading it as a string, it'll convert it. Um, to a number to do that multiplication and then it'll pass it through there so you know it works this works but if you really wanted to make sure that everything was a number you could make sure that you did a parse float on the your tip just to make sure that that's a number so I'll make sure I put my parentheses outside of here now again you do parse float with parentheses and the parentheses and parentheses encircle your entire statement in here so that whatever you get it converts it into a number so if I save this now and I go back to Chrome and I'll refresh, I'll run it one more time, I'll put in 40, and I'll put in 25% again for my tip. I'll calculate the tip, and obviously it's getting the same numbers. Now, hello is the only string, and that's the way it should be. 40 is showing up as a number, 25 was converted to a number, and then it's staying a number all the way through. So using console log to you know show your data, that can help you kind of anticipate errors or see what's happening as your code's being run as opposed to just typing things in afterwards if you put it in here while your code's being run then you see what really is happening so you can see what really is a number and what really is a string so I just, we're going to use console log a little bit more as we go with JavaScript but I just wanted to show you uh, with this exercise